Hello and welcome to This Date in History, a.k.a. TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things I personally find intriguing enough for me to bring to you. The source of this information comes from the smart device application on this day. The music in the background is Roots by Tobu, which I found on a YouTube channel, No Copyright Sounds. For links to the app, music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar. Stand up. Stay. Good camera. Now let's get on with the show, shall we? Today is Tuesday, Day, aka Tuesday, July 26, 2016. In 2009, the militant Nigerian Islamist group Boko Haram attacked a police station in Bushi, which led to reprisals by the Nigeria police force and four days of violence across multiple cities. In 2008, 56 people were murdered and over 200 others injured in 21 bomb blasts in Ahmedabad bombings in India. In 2007, Shambo, a black cow in Wales that had been adopted by the local Hindu community, was slaughtered due to a bovine tuberculosis infection causing widespread controversy. In 2005, Mumbai, India received 99.5 centimeters or 39.17 inches of rain within 24 hours, resulting in floods that caused the deaths of over 5,000 people. In 2005, during the Space Shuttle program, STS-144 mission, which was the launching of Space Shuttle Discovery, became the first scheduled flight mission after the Columbia disaster in 2003. In 1990, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 was signed into law by President George W. Bush. In 1989, a federal grand jury indicted Cornell University student Robert T. Morris Jr. for releasing the Morris Worm, thus becoming the first person to be prosecuted under the 1986 Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. In 1977, the National Assembly of Quebec imposed the use of French as the official language of the provisional government. In 1974, Greek Prime Minister Konstantinos Karamanalis formed the country's first civil government after seven years of military rule. In 1971, Nicolette Miles Walker completed sailing non-stop and single-handedly across the Atlantic, becoming the first woman to successfully do so. Also in 1971, during the Apollo program, Apollo 15 was launched on the first J mission and was the first use of a lunar rover vehicle. In 1968, during the Vietnam conflict, South Vietnamese opposition leader Thurong Ding Zhu was sentenced to five years hard labor for advocating the formation of a coalition government as a way to move toward an end to the strife. In 1965, full independence was granted to the Maldives. In 1963, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development voted to admit Japan. Also in 1963, an earthquake in Skozhby, Yugoslavia, caused the deaths of 1,100 people. Also, also in 1963, SYNCOM-2, the world's first geosynchronous satellite, was launched from Cape Canaveral on a Delta B booster. In 1956, following the World Bank's refusal to fund the building of the Aswan Dam, Egyptian leader Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalized the Suez Canal sparking international condemnation. In 1953, soldiers from the 2nd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment repelled a number of Chinese assaults against a key position known as the Hook during the Battle of the Samichon River, just hours before the Armistice Agreement was signed, ending the Korean War. Also in 1953, Arizona Governor John Howard Pyle ordered an anti-polygamy law enforcement crackdown on residents of Short Creek, Arizona, which became known as the Short Creek Raid. Also, also in 1953, Fidel Castro led an unsuccessful attack on the Moncada barracks, thus beginning the Cuban Revolution. This movement is also known as the 26th of July Movement. In 1951, Walt Disney's 13th animated film, Alice in Wonderland, premiered in London, England, United Kingdom. In 1948, U.S. President Harry S. Truman signed Executive Order 9981, desegregating the military of the United States. In 1947, during the Cold War, U.S. President Harry S. Truman signed the National Security Act of 1947 into United States law, creating the Central Intelligence Agency, a.k.a. CIA, the U.S. Department of Defense, the U.S. Air Force, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and the United States National Security Council. In 1946, Aloha Airlines began service from Honolulu International Airport. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
1945, the United States Navy cruiser USS Indianapolis arrived at Tinian with parts of the warhead for the Hiroshima atomic bomb. In 1943, HMS Vestal was the last British Royal Navy ship to be sunk in the Second World War. In 1945, the Potsdam Declaration was signed in Potsdam, Germany. Also in 1945, the Labour Party won the United Kingdom general election of July 5th by a landslide removing Winston Churchill from power. In 1944, during World War II, the Soviet Army entered Lviv, a major city in western Ukraine, and captured it from the Nazis. Side note, only 300 Jews out of the 160,000 who lived in Lviv prior to the Nazi occupation survived. In 1941, during World War II, in response to the Japanese occupation of French Indochina, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt ordered the seizure of all Japanese assets in the United States. In 1936, King Edward VIII, in one of his few official duties before he abdicated the throne, officially unveiled the Canadian National Vimy Memorial, which is a memorial site in France that is dedicated to the Canadian Expeditionary Force members who died during the First World War. Also in 1936, the Axis powers decided to intervene in the Spanish Civil War. You know what other country likes to intervene in foreign affairs? That's right, the United States of America and its allies. Fun fact, back then the US was what we would classify today as a second world country. I wonder what upstart country is going to overthrow our nazi s coalition. In 1908, United States Attorney General Charles Joseph Bonaparte issued an order to immediately staff the Office of the Chief Examiner which was later renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigation, a.k.a. FBI. In 1891, France annexed Tahiti. In 1882, the Republic of Stellaland was founded in Southern Africa. In 1847, Liberia declared its independence. In 1803, the Surrey Iron Railway, widely believed to be the world's first public railway, opened in South London, United Kingdom. In 1788, New York ratified the United States Constitution and became the 11th state of the United States. In 1775, the office that would later become the U.S. Post Office Department was established by the Second Continental Congress. And in 1581, the Northern Low Countries declared their independence from the Spanish King, Philip II, with a Plaquet van Verlathingen. Let's try that again. Plaquet van Verlathingen, aka Act of Abjuration. First, Jason Statham, 1967, Sandra Bullock, 1964, Kevin Spacey, 1959, Betty Davis, 1945, Mick Jagger, 1943, Joe Jackson, 1929, Stanley Kubrick, 1928, George Bernard Shaw, 1856. Woo! Death, Sam Houston, 1863. And that concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar for any links you may be interested in. Don't forget to rate five thumbs and subscribe for your dose of passive events daily. I am Ao Xander, and you are you. Toodles!